Hi, this is Senator Melissa Franzen with the weekly update. This week we started with uh, some of the uh, budget targets that were released last Friday afternoon for uh, the different committees, and this is where we get numbers for the committees to work on their omnibus bills, piecing together the state budget for the next biennium. Uh, those budget targets were released, and the priority from what I can see is that $900 million is being allocated to tax relief. I sit on taxes, on the Committee on Taxes, and we're still going through all the different bills and proposals before we put together our omnibus bill. I will be looking, making sure that those dollars are appropriately uh, put into working families and to the priorities that I value in Minnesota and that I think we should be considering. Uh, certainly, um, I will also look in what other aspects of the budget where we are doing significant cuts, uh, primarily in Health and Human Services, which is a committee I used to serve on for four years, and I will be looking at that really uh, vigilantly, making sure that we are not hurting Minnesotans uh, at the same time as trying to give tax relief, which I support tax relief, but certainly want to make sure that our Minnesotans and our services and programs are also uh, preserved. Uh, the governor also did announce his supplemental budget and pretty, really similar to his previous budget just to make um, some changes um, given the budget forecast. I will lay out all this information in the newsletter so people have updated nonpartisan uh, and objective information of where the, the proposals stand and look forward to continue to work with my colleagues, uh, especially in the areas of, of committees, uh, jurisdictions that I serve on, taxes and now transportation. Today we heard on transportation the omnibus uh, budget bill for, for that area, and I have serious concerns because it not only uh, not, not even keeps the status quo in terms of funding, it actually moves us backwards, particularly with transit. There is no funding and actually um, moving funding away from projects in transit, and I have serious concerns about that especially for our district and the needs that we have for our senior population and disabled that rely on some of these um, transit uh, options. Certainly want to invest more in transportation uh, but the the bill actually moves money away from other programs and other shifts in the budget to uh, piece it together so I will also be uh, looking into it and potentially not able to support a bill that um, does not look at transportation holistically. I'll lay out more information in the newsletter. As always, please continue to contact me with your comments and concerns as we keep moving forward uh, to these omnibus bills and I look forward to more conversation with you. Thank you.